have you ever thought to yourself you wish you could purchase a brand new vehicle for five dollars ten dollars even twenty dollars and not just a new car to you but brand new in general 2020 well what if i told you that every five dollars spent on the in shane designs website gets you an entry to win a 2020 six-speed lifted gladiator on brand new 37 inch mud tires well guys welcome back to the youtube channel welcome back to the D jeep and daily channel as you can see we have a 2020 jeep gladiator we don't have the xj we have a gladiator now we're not going to be doing any off-roading i've had this vehicle for a few hours so far today i'm going to be giving you guys a review video on it kind of a review video and if you're looking into buying a gladiator or a mid-size pickup truck i'm going to give you everything you need to know about this jeep gladiator and if it was up to me i'd buy a jeep gladiator especially if price wasn't an issue this would definitely be my daily driven vehicle so starting off with some very basic knowledge for the gladiator this gladiator we have today is powered by a 3.6 liter v6 engine that i believe produces around 300 horsepower it is also equipped with a six speed manual now it has a standard five foot long bed you can't get them any shorter you can't get them any longer so what you see with this gladiator here is pretty much how they all look four doors 3.6 liter v6s now you can get them in an automatic or the manual like i said this one has the manual and they also come with a hard top slash or a soft top option this one is equipped with the soft top the gladiator is rated to tow up to 765 pounds so that means you can tow your boat to the river your jet skis to the river i've even seen street speed 717 himself with the six speed manual has towed a gt500 on a steel trailer on the back of this and it does it it stays at highway speeds it cruises so the jeep is very capable in towing so if you're looking into buying a mid-size pickup for towing even your little family camper around this will do it this will get the job done it has the power it has the capability up weight wise and it even has a bed to throw some bicycles in the back when it comes to towing you might be looking for a vehicle equipped with a trailer brake this does not come standard with a trailer brake i am not too clear on if it is an added option i am pretty sure it is you can get that as an added option but they do not come standard with a towing brake but on that case if you're not sold on this vehicle towing alone it's basically a jeep wrangler with a bed attached to the rear of it just imagine going to the river in your 2020 gladiator with your top off your doors off and your boat attached to the back with some pool floaties or whatever it may be stuffed in the bed of the so it is a little windy and it is starting to rain a little bit so we're just gonna start everything off in here now starting off with the jeep it is a power or to start and stop the engine it is by push button and i'm assuming you pop this off and the key goes back there if the button stops to work and you need to use a key now this has a very small screen but the screen is a touch screen display you can attach your phone to the radio and listen to your own music off of your phone now this jeep currently is averaging 12.7 miles a gallon it also has 1000 miles on it so that gauge is still fluctuating a lot moving on to the steering wheel you have all your your controls your basic controls just hanging up with the phone stuff this is going these go through your gauge cluster right here obviously cruise control and on the back on the right side controls your volume for the radio and on the left side skims the stations this does not have the led light options but you can set them to auto which i always find that very convenient in a vehicle is to have the auto light option so you never have to worry about turning your lights off before getting out of the vehicle we have our standard 12 volt thing that i don't know what it's called but this says 12 volts so there's that 
but you probably won't be using that anyways because here is a USB and I don't know what this one would be for but obviously this is USB and there's an aux cord now there this Jeep has power windows front and rear so in the center obviously because you don't want them on the door because you'll be taking the doors off as an option at least now storage wise you have this little tray and then underneath of that you have a pretty deep center console here it's not very long but it is deep and also a second usb port in there now moving on to the glove box kind of the same story it's not very wide but it is deep as well as up here for example you can just keep your phone in there it might slide side to side but it's not coming out of there unless for some reason you're taking off very very absurdly fast or slamming on the brakes it might fall out of there now because this is basically a wrangler with a bed attached everything inside wise is comparable to the jl wrangler so you have your your roll bar here you can take the you can fold the top back very easy with that you on put these sunrest or sun visors down unclip these and boom the top folds right back and also just like a wrangler it has a roll bar going all the way around the seats speakers all throughout the roll bar also to get that good quality sound coming from your radio this jeep does not have leather interior it has basic cloth interior so it does not have heated seats with that being said moving on to this area the gladiator has a auto start stop feature it's supposed to help with gas mileage so if you don't know what that does when you come to a complete stop and you're sitting there the vehicle will turn itself off it'll keep everything else on like a normal kind of like a hybrid vehicle but it turns off to save your gas whatever i had this off the entire time today because i don't want to be driving around in a vehicle it turn off on me and then when i start to go it's going to have no oil pressure because there's nothing flowing through the motor and you're going to hurt the starter also by continuously turning off turning off and turning itself back on so you're hurting the starter you're going to wear through that starter faster and you might even damage the engine because you're starting to drive away to wait, right away and get back up to speed before your oil pressure is even at an operating at an operating PSI. Thankfully, the six speed is equipped with a hill assist. So if I'm sitting on a hill and I'm trying to get started, it's not going to roll backwards on me for about two to three seconds, I would say. So I can sit on a hill, not have my foot on the brake and try to get myself moving before the Jeep even starts to move backwards. So that is a very, very helpful feature, which you will come to enjoy you don't have to rush yourself to get back onto the power and not roll into the traffic because the jeep's not going to allow you to do that for a few seconds it's going to give you the time to compensate for that all right so moving on to the back seat this is actually my first time being back here and it is very very open i've never sat in the back seat of a four-door wrangler and obviously i've never been in the back seat of a gladiator either but i have i mean with me driving i'm i stand about five eight five nine and with me driving and me sitting in the back seat, I have plenty of room for my legs. This is, it's very, it feels very comfortable back here to sit. And your window controls are back here for these back windows. So if you want to control the windows while you're sitting back here, obviously in the center, just as up front. If you are somebody that does not want to stuff someone in the back seat, like I said, I'm not very tall. I'm about average height, but I couldn't see why not somebody who stands six feet even maybe six five and is driving this vehicle why i wouldn't be comfortable sitting behind them i'm actually very impressed with how much room's back here so for storage you might be a little concerned obviously the back seat or the front seats have things in the back of them but if you lift up just a very simple pull up on that there's not even a clip that you have to hold it in there or that holds itself in there you just simply pull up on the seats and they clip in the place up there they hold themselves into place and now you have storage under the seat now these are here like most trucks that i've seen don't have a thing to keep the stuff in here you can kind of just slide whatever under the seat and it might come falling out this obviously has a holder for that now with the gladiators and i'm pretty sure wranglers are the same way this 
little section here is so when you take your top and doors off, you put all your bolts and stuff in here so you don't lose them. And you keep them all into place because the top is held in by some screws and Allen screws. So I am now going to do my best to keep the wind noise out of this video while we do the outside portion of this. As you can tell, the vehicle is wrapped and also has 37 inch tires, front and rear bumpers, and even side steps. So this Jeep is not stock at all looks wise, but all new vehicles come standard with a backup camera so that is a safety feature on the gladiator even though it is required now also most vehicles have their third brake light attached to the cab of the vehicle now because the gladiator has the option to take your roof off it is in the bed i never even thought about that until i was watching a video and someone said that so just putting that out there it's actually cool it's kind of changing it up a little bit i don't think i've ever seen trucks with the third brake light in the bed or attached to the bed of their vehicle. Now, because gladiators are so long and Jeep is expecting people to want to off-road them, they can, or they do sometimes come standard with air or with a bumper to protect your rear quarter cab here or whatever this is called of the bed. Now this off-road bumper protects that even more because basically sometimes it's just down here but this one covers this whole area and not only that but it also acts as a side step to get into your bed whatever you back, have back here obviously right now are the stock wheels and tires off of this jeep so we've covered about basically everything but one thing we did not cover is the axles of this jeep front and rear the jeep is equipped with dana 44 axles so they're very strong they're very tough everything's there to allow you to tow they're trying to help you tow with this vehicle not only tow but off-road these axles are also found in the rubicon say you want to off-road your jeep but you don't want to spend the money on a rubicon because you know that lockers are very keen to off-road success well jeep has this traction control system that say you were flexing somewhere and normally on open diffs, the tire that has less traction is gonna spin. That's how an open diff acts. It just sends the power to the easiest wheel it can. Well, the traction control system in these Jeeps kind of acts like a locker. So if you're flexing, that tire's on a rock, this tire's off the ground, this tire would normally be the one that spins, but the traction control electronically tells the vehicle, hey, that ve that tire has no traction this one does we need to send the the power there to allow us to get over the next obstacle so it does that on both axles it kind of acts like a locker but it's not really a locker so if you want to off-road your vehicle and you're concerned about not having lockers the traction control system in these jeeps almost act as if a locker now it's not spinning both tires but the tire that has most traction that you want to spin will be the one that spins so during my research i found that jeep has went through almost every possible way to waterproof their vehicles while in stock form so in stock form you can drive the gladiator up to 30 inches of water now that's about as big as the stock tire size i would say these are 37 so now you have a little bit more clearance to that so you could probably drive this jeep 35 inches deep into the water and not have to worry about a thing it will drive through it mechanically it'll get through and then even electronically it will survive jeep has sealed their axles engine transmission transfer case they have put a water protectant sealer on it to allow you to get it wet keep it under the water and not have to worry about messing anything up as well as the electronics on the inside and outside of the vehicle have also been waterproofed and or they are water resistant so you can drive these jeeps deep into the water and then drive home and not have to worry about hydrolocking your motor or getting water mixed in with the oil and gear fluid of your axles and transmission. So to end this video off, we can't forget about how in-depth detail Jeep gets with their stuff. But as you can see here in the stock headlight, the front casing that goes around the bulb has a Jeep grill in it. And not only that, but as well as the stock wheels have a picture painted on them
it's not a sticker it's actually integrated into the wheel itself of an old Willys Jeep and let's not forget the gear shifter says since 1941 so Jeep has went all out I wouldn't say all out Jeep has gone far in customizing their vehicles giving you those extra little bit of touches that is going to wrap up this video on the gladiator if you're not sold on it after everything I mean the things on 37s and towed a GT500 Mustang fine if you're not sold on this vehicle I don't know what will sell you on a gladiator but maybe you're not even in the market for a mid-sized off-road off-roadable truck I should say Head over to Inchain Designs, get your entries for this vehicle, but before you do that, leave a like on this video, hit the subscribe button down below, and comment down below if you want to see anything on this channel in the future, even more Gladiator stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoy the Gladiator. I will see you next time. Peace out.